small minority of people are actually going to do the things that you suggest they do based on the question of them asking for help in whatever regard. I just got done with a client call and we talked about this, like how do you approach people that continue to ask you for advice or support in how to do something or to make a change over and over again and then they don't do it or they do it for a little while and they stop and they come back and ask and it just seems like they just want this magic pill or this this hack and in a lot of cases, it, it literally is a pill or some type of biohack they're looking for. And the suggestion I gave was to ask questions, questions that can create some sort of tension by getting them to see the reality of the cycle that they're going through, this feedback loop that they're stuck in. And it's to ask questions that get them to say things that they've never thought of before or subconsciously has come up for them, but then they suppress them back down because of how it made them feel, which then led them to taking the actions to continue putting them in this, this loop of just, you know, getting this experience and then disliking it and then going back to the old way and then trying again and then going back and around and around. So the idea is to ask questions and create tension by get them getting what's in their mind and body out so they can actually hear themselves say, it. and then you can repeat back to, so it sounds like this. And then they go, oh, wow, that, okay. I never really thought of it that way so on and so forth. So we're allowing the person to be free with their mind and speak what's inside of them, whether they're aware of it or not. And then from there, we can ask questions about, okay, well, what are you, what are you really trying to accomplish? Like, is it X, Y, or Z? And then getting clarity on that and then asking them, well, why is it important to you? Like, for what purpose do you want X, Y, or Z? And that just creates a, a level of interest from them and you know, it lets us see where their sights are set. And then we, we create the, the real amount of tension by asking, okay, well, what is it that you're going through right now? Like, what, what is it that you don't enjoy that makes this goal meaningful to you? Like, the thing you just told me you want, like, why is that important based on what you're experiencing now? Whether it's, you know, anxiety or insecurity or, you know, being overweight in, in regards of having too much fat and, you know, having fatigue or body issues or, you know, low confidence or, you know, whatever it may be that they're experiencing now. And then asking, okay, if you're here now and you don't make changes, and in fact, you've been continuing to go around and around and around in circles, how does this get worse? And then a layer up from that is how do people in your life live at effect to your choices? If you're experiencing this, whether it's declined health mentally, emotionally, and physically, or you know, performance in one area of life or no another. If you're experiencing this right now and you continue to go downhill, things get worse for you, how do the people that are in your life that love you, count on you, be there as your best, how are they going to be affected by this if nothing changes? And then a follow-up I always like to ask is, what are you willing to do for this? What are you willing to do to get rid of the suck and embrace the potential you have to live a higher quality of life, which also increases your lifespan, the amount of time you live and the amount of time you have with your loved ones doing the things you want. It's all about questions because questions allow us to let the subconscious bring out the information that we've been aware of, but maybe just been pushing away for too long. And it's now revealing itself in the form of questions other people asking them for help. And it always comes back to the basics. From the basics, we build a foundation that allows us to optimize with the, the tools, the tips, the strategies, the, you know, the hacks, the, you know, whatever it may be. But if we're not mastering the basics, how can we have the audacity to think or to believe that some advanced skill is going to be the thing that we need to get to where we want to go?